welcome to my channel this is your girl Tatima aka she's Tima we're back with another video so I got a few things to explain to you guys so let's get right into the video so guys okay so we're gonna start with moving 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 the kid has got a new job and she's moving to South Carolina really soon so I'm gonna take you guys with me but along the way I've done a few things which is get my credit together um, I'm gonna tell you about how I did that and then I still gotta pack I still gotta break some things down I'm breaking a lot of things down in my apartment and I don't have much here anymore so yeah. okay so let me tell you guys about this credit I watched this guy's video I cannot remember his name but he told me how to remove hard inquiries off of my credit report just by calling the credit bureau. I'm thinking, I thought it was a bad idea to call the credit bureau. I thought you had to write the letters and all that good stuff. No. So I go on my credit report. I look at my credit report and I have like seven inquiries, seven hard inquiries. And I'm like, I didn't make this many inquiries. You know, so I go on there, I see these seven high requires on there. I'm like, okay, let me call and do step by step the way he told me to do it. So I'm like, okay. I go on there, um, I call the number that he says to call, I push number two, I ask him for the fraud department. The lady sends me to an automated machine. Did nothing for me. Um, really had nothing to do with any fraud unless it was fraud for an underage teen. I'm like, let me hang up and try this again because he didn't say anything about an automated machine. So I called back. I said, listen, I need to talk to the fraud department. And um, this time it went to the fraud department. So the guy answers the phone. I give him my information and he asked me, who did I want to remove? So I gave him the list of the hard inquiries that I wanted to move. And he said, okay. Um, he clarified those names. All he needed was the names. He didn't need the numbers. He didn't need the address. He just needed the names of the inquiries. He said, okay, let me put this through. He put me on a pause. He came back on um, and within a couple of minutes, he said, your request went through successfully. So give it about 24, 72 hours and they, they should be sending you a um, an email confirming that the hard requires were removed. I'm thinking, okay, that was simple. Five hours later, I get an email that my hard inquiries were removed every last one. I was like, wow. And every last hard inquiry took my credit score down. And I was wondering, my request was just steady dropping. I'm like, what? I ain't did nothing. Why is my credit score dropping? And that was one of the reasons. It was dropping because of those hard inquiries. So, it also helps you know when lenders are going into your credit report to see who's been pulling and what you've been doing. It also helps when you change your address to one address down to one address, one phone number, and the correct spelling of your name and exactly how you want to be represented on your credit report because I had like four or five different names. There was missing letters, wrong addresses, wrong phone numbers. So I corrected that. It just makes you look all over the place so you have to correct that and then you don't have to, but it's best to do so so that you don't look like you all over the place. And then... I found out when you're also removing these hard inquiries that you can freeze your report. Okay, so I found out that there were two companies that the um, that Experian mainly checks in order to see what's in your credit report or to see what whatever that you're um, inquiring about or whoever you're inquiring about, they check with this, these two companies to make sure that your information is either there or correct or whatever. And it is Sage Stream, S-A-G-E-S-T-R-E-A-M, or Lexus Nexus. There are three other companies that they can check your information, but from what I heard, 
um, those are the two companies that the main two companies that they check with. But anyway, um, some companies don't want you to have more than five inquiries within 24 months in order to qualify for a loan, credit, etc. Um, those two companies, LexisNexis, L-E-X-I-S, N-E-X-I-S, or Sage Stream. I'll put those in the description box below. Give it a try. See how it works. They send you to an automated machine. Hang up and try again. If you call and they say they're gonna do it and they don't do it within 24 to 72 hours, call again. But the number is um, 714-830-7000. Press two, then ask for the fraud department, okay? You are a client of experience, so you're gonna press two, and then you're gonna ask them for the fraud department. I've got a few hard inquiries. You let them know that I have a few hard inquiries that I need to remove. You don't have to give them the numbers or the addresses of the companies or the creditors. Just give them the name. And I'm only do it on inquiries that are closed. Do not do it on inquiries that you still have an open account with because it will affect those open accounts. So you only want to do this on inquiries that are closed, that you ain't got nothing else to do with it. And these companies, I ain't had nothing to do with. I don't, like, I don't even know who this is or how this got here or who decided to put this on my credit card. But they are removed, every last one. I was like, wow, this is great. Didn't have to write a letter. Didn't have to, because you know, those certified mail slips are like $7. I had seven inquiries. That was some money. I had already sent off a few letters. So this was absolutely free. 100% free. So. I hope that helps. You can put some under there that aren't fraud if you want to, but you know, I went for the ones that were actually fraudulent that I don't recall making those inquiries about. I had stuff on there, I had no clue was on there and they were, they made hard inquiries. Some of them did it twice on the same day in a different month. I was like, really? Yeah, so. Yeah, I'll put all the information in the description box below. Remember to do this only on hard inquiries that you have nothing else to do with, only on closed cases. Do not do it on open cases, y'all. Y'all gonna mess yourself up. Just do it on hard inquiries only. So good luck with that. I hope everything goes well. Again, if they don't remove them within 24 to 72 hours, try it again. If they send you to an automated machine, hang up and call them again, press number two, and tell them I want to speak to the fraud department. Make sure you have your credit report in front of you and only do it on hard inquiries that are closed. So good luck guys. Let me know how that goes. And um, I'll see you in the next video. I'm really just a fucking fool.